to a new video welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is nisha oops sorry this sorry if you guys are new here my name is nisha and i am the owner of truly curvy boutique if you guys are returning subby thank you so much for clicking on today's video today's video is going to be all things private labeling so before we jump in um i want to I don't have my wedding rings. I felt bare without my rings. But anyways, okay, so today's video, we're going to be talking about private labeling, what private labeling is, um, by definition, what it means to me, why I chose to private label, and then I'm going to actually show you guys me private labeling. So by definition, private labeling um, is when you label products that are manufactured by a company for sale under a company's brand. Um, does that make sense? Um so yeah so basically private labeling is when you take off a label of someone else's and put your label on there so the first big thing is is it legal so private labeling is 100 percent legal when you're purchasing items wholesale so when you're purchasing items that are wholesale they're distributed to multiple businesses um and then you can private label them to fit your own brand the reason why I decided to private label is because I want people, you know, like if you're ever out and you have a cute outfit on and somebody's like, who was that? And maybe you forgot, you can always check out the tag and you're like, oh, I got it from Truly Kirby. Um, it also takes out the confusion for me personally. Um, so people know that it's Truly Kirby boutique that they're wearing. Some boutiques choose not to private label. It's totally up to you. It just depends on what you're going for. But generally a boutique sells multiple different um wholesalers so yeah so that's what it is to private label it and why i decided to private label what makes private label illegal is if you get a major brand like gucci nike louis chanel or something like that and you try to take off their manufacture like their product and call it your own that is illegal you cannot do that so i just wanted to put the disclaimer out there that private labeling is legal and then show you guys how i do it so um I have been in business now since April. I buy my things wholesale through the vendors on Fashion Go. So there's a quick, you know, vendor tip or whatever. So I buy my things wholesale from Fashion Go. Um, so when you get your things, they're going to come with, you know, they're going to come in their packaging. So for instance, I have these Bermuda jeans that are light washed. They're individually packaged and the brand is Wax Jean Collection. Um, wax, yeah, wax jeans collection. So, what I do is I went to Etsy and I um, got tags made, hang tags, not hang tags. I'm sorry. Um, I got labels made. What all this? Oh, okay. Not me breaking my stuff. Um, I got labels made. So. You can do private labeling and have another company do it for you. For me, it just saves costs. Generally, it's about $2 per item for, um, sorry. So generally, when you get private labeling done, it's generally $2 per item um, for the other, like if you outsource it. So what they do is, let me show you. So they'll go in and basically they'll remove this tag hang tag this, I don't know why I keep calling it a hang tag oh my goodness they'll remove that label and then they'll put your label on uh they'll take this off and then they'll put it on so what I did is right when I launched I did outsource my private labeling and it cost me an arm and a leg and I was like oh no we can't do that so because I'm still um you know a fairly smaller brand and I personally love the challenge I taught myself how to sew so yeah, you heard that right. I taught myself how to use a sewing machine. I did hair and I like used sewing needles and stuff. So it wasn't that big of a deal. Plus YouTube University can teach you everything you need to know. So I was using um, a cheaper, um, do I still have it or did I throw it in the trash? I was using a cheaper sewing machine that I got from Michaels. It was about $60 and it was giving me the hardest time ever. I recently upgraded to this brother sewing machine. Let me show it to you guys to this brother's sewing machine and it is beginner friendly it's very simple um all you need is your thread your item your labels and you know you can go um i don't know where my other thing is um so 
yeah so that's basically what private labeling is i'm going to show you guys how i private label a pair of my uh, bermuda shorts like i told you guys and then we're gonna get started this isn't specifically a tutorial on how to sew i just want to show you guys how private labeling works and how it could benefit you as a business owner it can give you credibility if you want to take that extra step now this is totally optional it's totally up to you but from as for me and my business i personally um like being able to offer my sorry if it's shaking a little bit because i'm trying to find my stuff um I personally like being able to offer my customers that branding experience so i feel like it adds value to your brand and you know people just want to you know see it i feel like it'd be confusing if i left the wholesaler on there some people do um but here it is i was trying to find my bobbing y'all anyways um but yeah so sewing is a whole another beast but you know i'm glad that i learned it and i feel like it's one of those things that once you learn it you perfect it um and I feel like with learning how to sew, I feel like it can be used at all times. So what I do is I basically use this to take out the thread of the previous thing, put it on there. I also um, put my hang tags on there. If you guys haven't saw, these are my new ones. Oop. Um, I have a little scan QR code so you can find me easily. Um, but yeah, so I just feel like this helps with branding. It helps me have everything situated. So when it's time to sell, I can grab it and go. So let me go ahead and get my sewing machine set up, probably put on some music, and then I'll go ahead and show you guys how I do it. I haven't seen you in a long time, almost been a year since you broke my heart and tore me apart, oh yeah. I've been working on myself, trying to move on, hooking up with someone else, trying to all right so as you guys saw i put on my own tag i put on my own hang tag this was a size 3x so it just gives the whole feel like branding so you know what you're wearing um you know who it is and that's basically what i'm going to continue to do so if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure that you guys give me a thumbs up if you have any questions about private labeling if you do private label yourself let me know down in the comments and i will catch you guys in the next video peace